What if Light Yagami and L Lolly at Switch Places? In this what if we're going to cover a scenario where Light and L switch places in Death Note. Light will take L's place as the greatest detective the world has to offer, while they're staying in character. At the same time, L will also take Light's place and become the highest ranked student of Japan, who one day stumbles across the Death Note. Before we get into this, we need to cover one large question. Would L even consider using the Death Note? As we've seen several times throughout the series, L is a very curious individual who has been more than willing to contemplate some very unrealistic stuff. It's why he's able to truly ponder on the note that Light gave him regarding L, did you know? Gods of Death truly love apples. Or why he even took on the Kira case to begin with. Any normal person would assume that a bunch of people having heart attacks at different places with different times would just be a coincidence. So the fact that L is able to consider the possibility of the killings being committed by a person instead of a coincidence means that L is willing to accept the fact that something out there like the Death Note exists. So I do believe that L would think that something like the Death Note is feasible. I would even go as far to say that L wouldn't be opposed to testing it out, as L is shown to be willing to sacrifice people in dangerous situations like Lindell Taylor. So from there, assuming L picks up the Death Note, he would test it out in a similar method and would use it on a criminal, on Death Row perhaps. Maybe even the exact same man Light killed when he first used the Death Note. From there, L would confirm that it's the real thing, and the story starts. Now, to do this video, we have to do scenarios. The reason why we have to do scenarios is we have to consider which character in a certain position can do what. In scenario A, Light has access to L's resources. For scenario A, we're going under the assumption that Light, who has switched places with L, has access to L's resources. This does not mean his intellect or personality has changed. This is still the same Light that everyone is familiar with, except he's taken on the role of L and has his resources. To start off, one of L's main resources is his money. L's fortune started when he was just 8 and still with Watari. L requested that Watari buy 1 million pounds of Japanese yen, followed by investing in various stocks of L's choice. Watari does as L asks, and within 2 years, his assets reached nearly 20,000 times the original amount. The calculations have been done for the exact amount, and it comes to around 70 billion British pounds. But this investment isn't the only source of L's money. Mello stated in the LABB murder cases novel written by Inicio Eason that L on principle never got involved in a case unless there were more than 10 victims at stake or a million dollars at stake. The novel also states that L has solved over 3,500 cases. Assuming he was paid for every case with basic multiplication, L would have earned 3.5 billion alone. With L's money, he's been able to hire people like Iber and Weddy, one who is an experienced con man and the other who is a professional cat burglar to aid him in the Kira case. L was also able to purchase a 23 floor skyscraper with a helipad to accommodate the detectives and Light who are busy solving the Kira case. Now that we've covered L's financial status, we need to talk about the influence that L has. L is known to the globe as the world-renowned detective and is sought after by multiple police agencies during the start of Death Note to assist them in the Kira case. L is not only able to command Interpol, but it has been stated that he's been able to mobilize police in every country worldwide. So why am I highlighting all this? If anything, like having access to all of L's resources should make this easier, right? Well, no, because the thing is, even if Lai had access to all of this, it wouldn't matter. L would simply go about being Kira in a different way compared to Light. Now, let me explain. At this point of time, Light is considered a genius by everyone around him. He's at the top of his school, he's diligent in his studies, he's hardworking, and he's talented in many different areas. Light has probably grown up being praised for anything he does. Due to his intelligence, athleticism, and looks, he has constantly been the center of admiration. These traits have turned him into a very vain and egotistical person, and made him into a narcissist. Since there are only a few days that lie between his pre-definite personality and his post-definite personality, I'll use some examples from the latter's example since there isn't much change to explain his narcissism. Shamelessness. The inability to process shame in healthy ways. Throughout the anime, Light is shown multiple times to be absolutely humiliated simply by suffering a defeat, no matter how minor. He vents his frustration either through anger or by becoming eerily calm. One of the most prominent examples is in episode 9 when L reveals who he is to Light, ruining Light's chances to anonymously kill him. Light walks home without uttering a single word, and the camera fails to show his expression. Only when he gets into his room does he vent his anger. Magical thinking. The distorted way of thinking that causes one to believe they are flawless and perfect. Light is the poster child for someone who has a god complex. He believes that he is in the right no matter the circumstance. Arrogance. 
to put oneself above others. Light definitely thinks he's better than those around him. He even goes as far as putting himself right under the nose of his enemy, fully believing that he wouldn't be caught. Envy. To secure a sense of superiority in the face of another person's ability. One of the driving forces behind the plot was Light's need to beat L. Light just had to show that he was better than L. With the information that L had to work with, he would have never really discovered the Death Note, therefore never being able to catch Light, until Light gave him some hints, and that's all L needed to know. Entitlement, a sense of being perfect and superior enough to receive special treatment. Because Light is getting rid of the world's criminals, he should be forgiven for all of his crimes. This is what Light believes, and he has the ability to enforce it. Exploitation, to exploit others and show no regard or empathy for their emotions or interests. Light is shown many times to be very manipulative, using the emotions of others to get what he wants, acting as both Mises and Takata's boyfriend in a prime example. Bad boundaries. Failure to recognize that other people are individuals. People either exist to meet Light's needs, or they might as well not exist at all. Light gets rid of anyone who serves them no use, no matter how minor of a threat they are. These are all the traits that must be taken in account when you look at Light Yagami as a character and in terms of how you would act as Kira. I'll reiterate the notion that Light has been like this for a long time, or at least well before he picked up the Death Note. His narcissism combined with his boredom and childlike sense of justice, or bad people must die, made him yearn for a godlike power. Which is why there was little hesitation for him to begin using the Death Note. The good student and dutiful son that he played was just a facade, and once he got the ability to change something, he was eager to do so. So now we already know a bit of Light's personality, and how he acted before and during his reign as Kira. A genius with a god complex, and a disturbingly large ego. Keep in mind that this is Light, not L. While L is similar to Light in the sense that he is childish and hates to lose, L's ego never got in the way of his work. If anything, it was L's intellect and EQ, which is greatly underrated, which is what caused L to get close to Light. At the very start of the show before L and Light even confronted each other, L had been able to grasp Light's emotions, motivations, and general psychological state to absolute perfection without ever meeting him. This is absolutely an insane feat when we consider the context. To put into perspective, Kira has absolutely zero evidence of existing, so he is just purely an abstraction in L's head, whom he profiles from just the fact that criminals around the world are dying through impossible means via cardiac arrest. I'll also expand over the amount of understanding L boasts regarding Kira. Kira is an individual who is childish and hates to lose, so will use any means necessary to gain the upper hand. To him, these murders are a means of freeing this world from impurity and evil, so he has a strong belief in his righteousness and perception of the world. Kira isn't an adult. He has a very surface level and pragmatic way of thinking. Signs of naivete and an unphysisticated persona are present, so he is a teenager currently in high school. Kira is prideful and arrogant. He despises the idea of his authority being challenged. Kira has everything he needs. He is living a comfortable life and is completely devoid of problems. This automatically infers high confidence in his physical state and cognitive abilities. Kira has a very strong sense of justice, as his use of this power as Kira is being used to cleanse the world in a mannerism which he perceives to be right. This is also evident by El relating himself to Kira, and how Kira also shares the Churchillian ideology stance regarding victory. He believes that justice, right and wrong, are malleable through power. The previous point also links with how Kira distills fear in a coercive manner to shape the world in his view. He exploits people's desire for a higher being for the bestowing of his punishment upon evildoers and those who defy the law and moral standards. Remember, this is purely L's understanding of Kira's emotions through nothing but criminals dying in unexplainable ways throughout the world. A person who doesn't exist. When he first revealed himself to the task force, Master proposed the idea of limiting criminal media coverage to prevent Kira from killing criminals. L displays insane levels of effective forecasting here. Kira was publicly challenged in terms of his ideology and pride. He killed L, who to him should be innocent, even though he had only been killing terrible criminals, thus breaking his pattern of killing. Thus Kira is childish and hates losing. He further supports his argument with another premise. After the Lindell Taylor trap, when L announced that he had narrowed down Kira's location with Kanto, Kira began concentrating his killings around Japan, deductive reason via abduction. By the time of the FBI agent's death, Kira's killings have become concentrated in the Kanto region of Japan. This shows that Kira will still show great distaste and retaliation for anything that conflicts with his ego and pride. He even states exactly how Kira would react based off his shame of losing 
as a defense mechanism to his wounded pride of fragility. He'd say, withhold criminals from me and I'll kill liars and cheaters. I'll even kill innocent people. I'm taking the world hostage. It'll be your fault, not mine. Those who shield evil doers from me, those are the ones who are truly evil. Not only is L replicating the exact psychological structure of someone he hasn't even met, but he can mimic his speech and conversing pattern through pure emotional understanding. Take a look at this. Back in episode 2, or in the manga pretty early on too, Light, after getting emotionally provoked by Lindell Taylor, gives a big speech about how he should be able to kill and whoever opposes him deserves to die. Later on, when the task force meet L, L just says the exact same thing, like pretty, pretty on point by verbatim. This is what I mean by L's EQ. L's understanding of Kira is something that allows him to pull off the Lindell Taylor act, which had massive repercussions later down the series for Light. Even Light admits that feeding into this tactic was an emotional mistake, which could have easily been avoided. To explain the Lindell Taylor tactic, L planned the broadcast to only be shown in the Kanto region of Japan, and knows Kira is located there. Had this not worked, L planned to simply go about broadcasting around the country, restricting information transfer between the districts that had seen the message and those that hadn't through police control. L was able to trace the first murder to Kuro Otohara, a small-time kidnapper who threatened a nursery in Shinjuku. L claims that this murder in particular was rather low level compared to the criminals Kira seemed to be targeting, and was committed just before the large onslaught of criminal mass murdering internationally. L claims that this kill was an experiment to test out his powers. Kira has been killing for very long. That Kira happened to be in Kanto was just a statistical chance, as Kanto was the most populated district. While these are the lines of reasoning that L revealed, he was able to deduce much more. This move from L was mainly a piece of proof for these prior deductions. Firstly, L is so certain of the fact that Kira is in Japan, that he doesn't even consider another possible country. He then chooses Kanto as his first location to target. It contains one third of Japan's population. L likely used the kidnapping to posit that Kira was likely in that region. If not, L would simply know that Kira was in the other two thirds of Japan. There was no major risk to his operation. Given that L assumes that Kira would kill Lindell Taylor, L was able to categorize and psychologically analyze Kira's behavior from just two to three days worth of killing to form L's profile of Kira. L's prediction of Kira based on his behaviors, his motivations, the speed at which Kira killed whom he killed, his somewhat naive viewpoints, and more. Briefly, L's Kira is a young, bright, arrogant, slightly naive, yet very confident person who is obsessed with justice and a need for recognition. L's depiction of Kira is actually far more deep and complex than this, but I'll explain as we go on. L wrote a very nuanced script for Lindell Taylor in order to invoke a impulsive reaction from L's Kira. Reasoning that being criticized for his ideals definitely would hurt his ego, make him lose composure and kill the man on screen. Even if this isn't what the average highly intelligent person would do, L knew with certainty that L's Kira would bite. It was an extraordinary calculated move from L that preyed on Kira's predicted personality. This was no mistake by Kira. All L's deductions were perfect. He had deciphered Kira's personality to a perfect degree within hours of being on the case, forcing him into making a mistake that L knew would pertain to L's Kira specifically. In other words, Kira and L's Kira were one in the same. L swiftly manages to prove Kira's existence, confirm Kira's personality, find his first murder, find his location, show the world that Kira is willing to kill those who are not criminals, and deduces that Kira requires at least a name and a face to kill. This is confirmed when requested data from Interpol showed that all the criminals killed by Kira had their faces released to the public, and those with misstelled broadcaster names did not die. The killing mechanism requires those two factors exactly. The Lindell Taylor maneuver proved that all of his preliminary theories were correct. So now you get what I'm talking about. L's understanding of light was what allowed him to get close to and eventually get in contact with light. This scenario still involves light and L within character, but only their roles are switched, since L's understanding of light shouldn't change. Who's to say he cannot use his understanding to light to favor him? L has no need to become the god of the new world. The only reason L solves cases is to not only challenge his intellect, but also to take away his boredom, or in short, it is a hobby to L. L's ego isn't as big as Light's, and he wouldn't make the emotional mistake that Light made in episode 2. Hypothetically speaking, this wouldn't be the end, as Light in L's position would still have more opportunities to find L. There has been a constant debate amongst Definite fans as to how the series would go if Light never killed Lindell Taylor, with the majority agreeing that L would have just never found Kira or, technically, Light Yagami. 
which is completely untrue. What would have happened was that finding Kira would have just taken longer. People failed to realize that the Lindell Taylor broadcast wasn't what allowed L to find light. It only made the job easier and narrowed down the search from 7 billion suspects to 40 million. After this, L deduced that Light had access to Japanese police info, which is massive. Now, it goes from 7 billion possible suspects to only a few thousand. This allowed L to send out the FBI agents to investigate those with close ties to the Japanese police. Light would kill Ray Pemba. L would figure out the clues using the train footage to zero in on those Ray was investigating on the week of his death and eventually leads him to the god of the new world himself, Light Yagami. Keep in mind, I said Light Yagami. Light in this scenario is taking on the role of L, and L is Kira. We've already established that L would conduct himself as Kira in a very different manner as opposed to Light. The plans and strategies that Light made, which caused L to get close to him, would be done in a much different manner if L was Kira. L absolutely wouldn't want to get close to Light or kill him. The Battle of Pride would still continue, but instead it would be more of a literal cat and mouse situation. Light as L would be trying to find and convict L with solid evidence, and L would try to continue to be Kira and kill criminals, while this avoiding attention from the police. So to conclude, if Light and L switch places, it wouldn't matter. Even if Light as L had access to L's wealth and resources, Light compared to L has worse logical reasoning, worse deductive reasoning, Worst observation, L's attention to detail during the investigation of Ray Pember's death is what allowed him to pick up the subtle clues left behind. Light would still have his character flaws that held him back as listed above. Whether Light is Kira or L, it doesn't matter. His ego and narcissism is what caused him to set himself up for failure on numerous occasions, most notably the Lindell Taylor stunt.